I, I, I just, I had an amazing career, uh, amazing, and it all started at Hoyle Community College. That was it. Um, I didn't know why I was going to Hoyle Junior College, but thank God I did. Because I traveled to be homeless, living member of the former Hoyle Junior College. Wanting to on record record stories and experiences with people who are closest to the institution. One word that you can think of that best describes Holyoke Junior College, Holyoke Community College. Inclusive, but uh, uh, an inclusive welcoming, if I could use two words. I need two words too. <laughs> um, accessibility and inclusiveness. Before it's time. One word uh, that immediately comes to mind for looking at the community college and all aspects of the community college is outstanding. And I've accomplished so many different things in my life. And it's really all because of Dr. Lorna Simon said that you can do it. I know you can do it. I see it all over you. This college helped all of us grow, develop, become really strong people in Hoyle. On the different committees, whether it was a dance committee or graduation committee or student senate, there were as many women there as there were men. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's no way that, that I ever felt excluded. And I just love the spirit here at HCC. This school overall is so supportive. As someone who is well, I'm different abled with OSDDS, I need those extra supports. And this school is so supportive of me. They're here for me, they understand me and listen to me when I need something. Um, they made it so that their door is always open. I can talk to them whenever I need. If anything's the matter, and they would give me the resources to get back on track. And they're very, they're very helpful. The school's very helpful towards people. They're very accommodating. They, they know how to have your back when you need it the most, you know. And so I, I feel like without this school, I wouldn't be where I am today, and I wouldn't be the person I am today. Well, everyone was really encouraging, and I, I found a place for myself, which... That, in fact, uh, in all the time that I was there and working there, the college included everyone. I guess when I go there, I have this sense of belonging. Uh, we had unbelievable professors, Dr. Bob Heeman, Dr. Ellis from Mount Holyoke, uh, Stuart Lee Garrison from New Hampshire. The fact that we had these people, had these wonderful English, literature, history professors, and I'll never forget them. You know, even if they were only there teaching one class, it, it, you got a warm, fuzzy feeling from everybody. And just, I, I always think of it that way, as family. Yeah. Everybody was so welcoming. All the people in the office come over here, sit down here, this is this, you know. Were you, are you, were you in the military? I, I just got out. Oh, go, see, go over there. Sign up for your military benefits. And the more interviews that I do like this, the more I realize the continuity of themes that HCC has continued to change, has continued to stay relevant, but the bedrock and the fundamentals of what you talk about in terms of connectedness, inclusion, relationships, these are all things that existed back then when you went to school and exist today at the college. So. I think that uh, President Royale uh, came into the community and made a tremendous impact right off the bat. She really did. She had so many ideas and thoughts and visions. And uh, so I think that those characteristics would be something that uh, I would say play an important part in the community college and they play important 
an important part in people willing to say, if she can do all of these things for the kids that come here, then I ought to support this college. Thank you.